Hello guys, this is GeeseCross16, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Today we are going to go to the boating school, which is the boating school, which is right up here in uh, in the Bayside Marina. So yeah, let's go there now. Um, to get there, you should have to take this freeway right up here and just follow it. So, Or just basically this mucker blip right there. On the S icon, so that can be helpful. So these cars to turn right here, go past this tow bridge, and here we go. Whoa! That was a close one right there. About ran into some traffic. I guess you gotta turn in this way right here to get to the bonus school. Now, now we're on the other side of uh, San Andreas. I consider this right here to be the halfway point in the game when you get to these missions right up here. But we still got a long way to go, so still got a long way to go before we get to the end. And here we are, guys. Bowling school, ahoy! Now, bonus school. It's not that hard, really, so. Has some very easy tests here, so. So I don't think they're that bad, though. I think there may be a couple of hard ones there. But we'll soon we get to them. Okay, so basic seaman ship. Okay, so here we go. This is basically all boatings. So we, this is how the basic the controls here. Just hold the X button to throttle, and we gotta bring the boat right here to the buoys. Press the square button to reverse it. There we go. That's all we gotta do. Stop the boat in the buoys. Now the now these boats don't have a uh, now these boats don't have a, a break in them. So okay, so now we gotta navigate through these buoys right here. Very very easy. Just use the analog stick to turn. And you can hold the R1 button. To, yeah, you gotta hold it. You can hold the R1 button to make a sharper turn. So that's what that does. Okay, we gotta clear through each buoy right here. Now remember, you gotta stay in the throttle in order to turn your boat. So, so yeah, because you let off the throttle, you will not turn that. You will not turn. So, but when we get to this point right here, it should be easy. You can see the uh, C San Fierro. Pretty good view right there. Alrighty. Make the sharp turn into these buoys right here. And that is it, guys. Get a gold medal out of it. Nice. Okay, so now we got a fishman salon. We got finished under two minutes to pass. Okay, so now we gotta go do the same thing as we did last time, but one on a time limit. We gotta finish under two minutes, and plus we're using a little, uh, little these little boats right here. Well, and plus, yeah, we got this right here. Hmm. Now this is a pretty. Now this boat can actually handle this a lot better than the last boat that we used. Now remember, we gotta finish under two minutes. So make sure you don't diddle that or screw up. Now for this boat right here, I would not recommend using the R1 button because they actually turn on a dime when you press the R1 button. They actually turn a little bit too sharp if you know what I mean. They actually turn fine about the R1 button, in my, my own opinion though. Okay, so I think we got a couple more buoys right up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Missed one. Dang it. Did not see that one right there. There we go. Luckily I'm in a good handle on boat. Able to recover right there. I don't know. Might cost me here, so. Mmm, I don't know, I got thirty seconds to do this. I think we got it. 
Yeah, that's it. Got a bronze out of it, but uh, you don't have to get perfect though. So, flying fish. Oh, now we're driving one of them. Uh, uh, what do you call them? The boats that actually not only travel on water, but they can also go on land. So yeah, we gotta jump and land within the parallel buoys, and must register to register as a valid jump. So yeah, we gotta jump. We gotta land. We gotta stop near in the bu buoys right here in order to for it to register as a as a uh, valid valid jump here. So jump whenever in the buoys right here. What? Okay, let me look at the instructions again. Power jump. Power towards the jump ramp and land within the parallel buoys. Okay. That boat's gonna get in the way there, but we got it. No one get go too fast though. So. Oh frick! What am I supposed to do? Is it land the parallel buoys? I I don't know what to do here. Power towards the jump ramp and the. You know, parallel in the parallel buoys in order for it to register. So that that's what it said. Shoot! What am I supposed to do? This one might be a little bit of a burger, though. Let me look at the instructions. It says power towards the jump ramp and land within the parallel buoys to register a valid jump. Okay. Don't know where it's going with that. I may have to look at the video instruction here. Okay, let me look at the video instruction here. See what see what it's wanting me to do. Oh yeah, jump over fifty five meters. Okay. Let me look at this again. I'm gonna look at the video here. Let me I try to stop it right in there. That's what it's supposed to do. Okay, I gotta get over fifty five meters. And plus, I think it's got to stay in the buoys, though. Okay, no, that ain't, ain't quite enough, though. I think we got to get a lot, got to get good, good enough speed to get to us, what I'm guessing. There we go. Got it that time. Just got to get over 55 meters. That's what we got to do. Okay, land, sea, and air. We got to finish under three minutes and we're using the, uh, the... Navigate for the center of each pair of buoys and you got, it said under three minutes. So so we're going to go on not only on, on sea, but we're going to go on land as well. And I already screwed up, so let's try it again. So I just gotta go through these buoys right here on this uh I don't know what they call them ski boats I can't remember what they're what they're called and yes yeah, so some of these we have, to, we have to jump go through the ramp right up here oh yeah. Okay, so okay, here's a jump right over here under this bridge, and my dogs are going crazy. So again, I do apologize for that. 
Yeah, whenever my dog, whenever my dogs see somebody outside, they go wild. They go, they start barking like crazy. That's what most dogs do, I guess. But anyways, back to this right here. Don't worry if you go on land. Don't worry about it because this thing can go on land. So, so yeah, nothing to fear there. Nah, I heard some seagulls. Lol. Now, I think this is the last test. I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure. I'm not, I don't know. We'll find out later. Find out here in a minute. More seagulls. That's funny. Okay, got two minutes. But well, we're not at two minutes, though. So. Oh, shoot. Gotta go in through. Oh, I missed a buoy. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so now let's hopefully recover. Hopefully we didn't screw up too much. Okay, I think this is the last one up here. I don't see any others. There we go. New, uh, let's see. Is this the last one? Yep, that's the last one. Okay, you don't get a reward from that. It just says, congratulations, you passed all the boat and school test. We well, don't get a reward, but there is a helicopter here. And we're actually going to take it to uh, the stranger's place right here on the, with the question mark. So, can I actually get in it? Yes, I can. Oh, Maverick. This is where you can find a Maverick. That's cool. So, yeah, this would be a quicker way to get to the stranger's house. Now, like I said, it's over in Tierra Robota. Go over there, do the next mission. Do the mission of this is what he wants. He did. He said he knew something about sweet, though. I wonder how he got that information. And plus, who is this guy? Though his voice sound kind of distorted, though. And how he knows us, I don't know. But anyways, guys, here we are in the Tierra Robota. We're actually near the desert area of uh, San Andreas, but there's still some. Uh, uh, grass and stuff out here, like trees and all that other nonsense. I'm going to crash into a tree. That would be bad. Okay, okay, he's over here. There's a ranch right out here. This is where, uh, where the stranger is. Hmm, that car seems, looks kind of familiar. Hmm, but, nah, it can't be, it can't be that guy. I mean, we already took that guy out. I don't, it could, it could be a, uh, it could be another guy, though, that has the same type of car as that one person, but I don't know. But anyways, guys, let's do this, let's do this mission. So fucking welcome, man. What you know about my family? Now first we need to see what you're made of. What it look like I'm made of? Putin? No, anger and hate. And that's what I like about you. Hey, there's a truck in the garage. We say we take it for a spin. Here's the deal. This is all about speed and commitment. You got GPS in the cab. Get to each set of the map coordinates as quick as you can. Make it to all the coordinates, then get the truck back here, lose the truck, and you fail. First, what's the GPS? Second, fail what? And third, who the fuck are you? Sorry. Need to know basis only. Oh, one more thing. This baby's got four-wheel steering instead of a handbrake. Good luck. Okay, so this is like a little time trial test. We're going to drive a monster truck, go cross country, and we're going to get to each set of map coordinates on the map. 
get to these checkpoints here. So yeah, there'll be checkpoints laid across this area right around here. And um, we, need to get, we need to make sure we make it under 6 minutes and 30 seconds in order for, in order to uh, pass the mission. Anywhere above that or we lose the truck, we, uh, we'll fail the mission. So, And oh yeah, for a hand, instead of a handbrake, it's got full wheel steering, which you can use the R1 button. But you can use the R1 button to get to it, so, to steer. Because it actually make it turn a lot better here before we're steering. Oh, what I, oh, I hit a sign. Okay, so we're going to go up here for this one. And yes, there are 35 checkpoints in total, and target time is 6 minutes 30 seconds. So make sure you get it underneath there. you don't miss any. Now we're coming up to some sections coming up where you can easily go in the water. That would be bad. Okay, so be careful on this bridge right up here because um, you gotta line up just right or else you'll go into the water here. Okay, so here we are in the desert area. I think this is uh, Bone County. That's what it's known as out here in the desert. Well, get up there. There we go. Yeah, this truck can. Since it is a monster truck, it can go over hills pretty easily. Depends on how steep it is. Now, if it's really, 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 really steep, it won't climb it that good. Almost did a complete 360. That was, that was pretty cool. Alright, so now we're just riding along. Just riding. Yeah. Oh shoot, don't tip, don't tip! Oh, thank god. Woo! I was able to save the truck. Saved. Oh man, I saved the truck. I don't know how, but I did. Yeah, this truck, can, now the monster truck can flip really, really easy, so. But I do like the monster truck. It's a pretty fun vehicle to drive. And you want to do some major destruction, this, tr this would be the vehicle to do it. Because like any other monster truck, you can run over crash cars. You can run over cars and stuff with ease. But keep in mind, when you're using the monster truck in this game, you can, you can eat, there's a very greater chance of you flipping over it easily, so. Okay, just be very careful. Slider in through the turns. We got ten more checkpoints left to go. That's kind of a horrible redemption of the shape and the haircut. I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. All right. Okay. Next checkpoint coming up right up here. There we go. Just uh, babying with the uh, with the hand, with the four wheel steering. I guess you can say five more to go. And now this, now this, now the final five up here. Are, actually, it's a home stretch here. So this last part, this last bit right here, is not that hard. Yeah, because we got about three more here left. And look out, taxi. Okay, oh, saved it again. Alright, two more. We're about at, back at the ranch. Last one coming up. Made it! Four minutes, 29 seconds. That's a good time. Good for a ghetto boy. The boss will be in touch. Yay! I was so close to beating that guy's record too. I was like nine seconds off, so get a four thousand dollar reward though, and yeah. Got a monster truck, yeah. Yeah boy. 
Get the monster truck, and I'm punching it right in the face. Now, who's this? Who the fuck is this? Son, get back to the ranch, and I'll explain everything. And I mean everything. Can't you just tell me now? I guess not. Okay, so the mysterious stranger has called once again asking for CJ to come back to the ranch, even though we're already out here. But, who is this stranger, you guys may ask? His identity will be revealed next video. So yeah, we actually get, we're going to get down to the bottom of this, see who this guy is, and what does he want with CJ. In the meantime, guys, this is Geese Squad 16 signing out. Later.